Yeah, the poetry is Yeah, how much are they? Uh, eight dollars. Actually, we're selling them out here for five. Inside, inside the bookstore, they're eight. Oh, okay. So you get a killer deal. And if you come to our show, the poets and the artists will sign for you. When is the art show? Um, it's gonna be on twenty first. Where's the How's it going? We're doing a show on the 21st at Catherine. And there's going to be music and all that good stuff. I like that. I Check out the table a little bit. Yeah, just to kind of show people what we're doing. Yeah, I want to be in this thing with David. Yeah. <laughs> He's gonna be famous, so. All right. This is like Picasso yeah, and these young little Picasso. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah, when I'm Rosie friends with Robin Williams, <laughs> I'm gonna know you, man. Dude, I'm friends with Robin. I'm Robin. Of course, the artist himself. Okay. Okay. So, can we ask you some questions? So. 
Can you tell us a little bit about Art, Artist Initiative, the Butte College Art Production Club? Uh, Artist Initiative is uh, and the Butte College Art Production Club is a club that was brought together to expand the gap between creating the art, you know, concepting it, uh, visualizing it, creating it, and then carrying it into the actual printing and distribution of the art to help bridge the gap between start and finish. It's where we have a beginning and concept of a uh, piece of art to the final product, printed out and ready for sale. And what's your kind of, what's your role in this? Uh, I'm the president uh, officer. And you're also a member of the Hair Club for me? Yeah, yeah. No, I'm, you know, I grow my own. Okay. So what kind <laughs> of artwork do you do? Uh, I do mainly digital art. I've done painting before. Uh, I stay away from sculpture, usually. Um, a lot of, uh, yeah, a lot of digital stuff. Logos, identities. Uh, my future goal is to work for a uh, graphic design company. So, yeah, yeah, lots of good stuff. Good stuff. Here's one of my pieces. I also do tattoo work. Can you kind show of one of the work? mediums that I'm going into. These are some of the tattoos that I've done for myself. All in myself. I've also done tattoos on other people, but they're not here right now. Okay, awesome. Um, so let's talk to Eric. Can we talk to Eric? Mm -hmm. I did. You know me? Oh, How's it going? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so tell us a little bit about the. Okay, uh, so I'm interviewing real quick. Okay, so club. yeah, tell us what. Tell us about your art, actually, and how about you got involved with this club. Well, I started going to Butte two years ago, and. Uh, I mainly went just to do my general ed, but then I found an awesome art community here. So I've been just getting connected any way I can, trying to get my art out there, trying to find some other artists to help me get my initiative and like keep drawing and get better and better. So that's kind of why I joined the club, just to keep myself drawing and become a better artist. And hopefully move on to somewhere, other art communities like San Francisco, move on, you know, enhance my skills and become something. Uh, pretty much Facebook. that's it. So what kind of art do you do? Uh, uh, what do really, you do you work in? Oh, I work in yeah, mainly like drawings, uh, yeah. just up pencil, pen, uh, but I've just recently started doing stuff on uh, computers digitally. So I've learned how to paint on Photoshop with, we, use, we have like Cintiq tablets and stuff, so paint right on the screen. So I've been trying to just uh, become better and better at digital stuff, because that's kind of the way of the future. For, that's one of my pieces. Thanks. Any questions? Let me know. But um, not a very, not a very good. Piece. But then I'm, <laughs> but then I'm, uh, I'm hoping that through uh, learning how to sell my art, interact with people here in the club, and uh, learn how to become connected in the community and make, you know, um, network and stuff, I can. That'll help me in my in my career as I move on as an artist. So what are we doing out here? Right now, we are just talking to people, selling art, cooking. It's rattlesnake days, right? Rattlesnake days for and Cinco de Mayo. For it's Cinco de Mayo, but it's rattlesnake days here at New College, and so we have a lot of different booths around, and you're selling different stuff? people trying to sell stuff. We're selling art. Um, we just have prints set up for. We have about like how many different artists are doing? Um, we have I want twenty. Probably about like twenty artists represented, and we're just we're selling all these art, all these art pieces. For and we're also books. And we're also in the bookstore. Yeah, we're also selling stuff in the bookstore at beautiful Butte College. We also have comic books available that were created by and spoken word poetry books. Yeah, illustrated word, poetry. Po Which you yeah, were in this class, right? Not necessarily comic books. Yep. They're more of uh, graphic uh, novels. This is the work of Sarah Miles Spencer, and this is illustrated by uh, Illustration Thirty Five Class of Two Thousand Ten. I think, and uh, taught by Daniel Vera. So we just have these different poets, or just different poetry illustrated. There's an interview going on over there. And, uh, Say what's up. So these are all works done Hi, by ladies. students of the illustration Hi. class. How are you doing today? Good, thanks. Really good. Okay. How are you? So uh, uh, how did we do today? <laughs> how, did, you, did you get a lot of interest? How, did, how are people uh, accepting the club? The best part about today was just I think a lot of new people came and what do you guys ask me what we're doing? I've got some info written down from people who actually are artists and they really were interested in submitting their work or becoming involved with the club. 
So it was really good networking wise. Uh, business wise, we sold a lot of stuff too, so that's good. So we're having an art show? Yes. When is this art show? May 21st, Cafe Culture. Be there. Be there. Or be square. Right. Awesome. Oh awesome. Okay, let's produce more. Or right, let's get this guy talking. Maybe. Okay, you guys take over. David, what's your, what's your name? What's your whole name? <laughs> you just did it. What's your whole name? <laughs> My whole name is David Anthony Martinez. Okay, and what kind of artist do you consider yourself? Um, possibly the best one in the universe, <laughs> if not the whole entire, like, I don't know what's outside the universe, but there's probably something bigger, and Did so it, that. It could be a planet right. of just artists. Well, can you show us your piece? Uh, yeah. Um, this is, I don't even know what, how to describe this, actually. It's just a piece that I was working on. Are you going to raffle this at the art show? Um, am I going to what? Are you going to raffle this? Hell no. Okay, so can, can we can we uh, can we do a limited edition print for raffle? Oh hell yeah. Okay. Yeah, you're gonna make a print okay. no problem. Okay. Um, so if you guys like that, right, come to the art. Bye, Bucky. Yeah. And you'll sign it for him. Yes, I will. And you will draw hot ladies after art show. That <laughs> yeah. Uh, it depends on what kind of mood I'm in. <laughs> so, but you're gonna draw people, right? Oh yeah. Okay. Are you drawing people, Eric? Yeah, I draw people. Okay, so you're gonna draw some live art there? Yeah, Dark definitely. Okay. And uh, what are, are you gonna do something for a raffle, for the an art piece for the raffle? For the yeah, I have a couple pieces at home that, um, one piece I actually, I think, got rejected from the student show because it's like too big, and I think they had too many submissions, so they just, uh, it's really big and it's like a nude figure, but we'll probably try to raffle that or bring in a couple other ones like that. Okay. Just, yeah. We'll video take that then. Okay, back to you, dude. All right. Okay, so how'd you learn about the pub and how'd you get into it? Um, I learned about it from one of those handy dandy signs that was up on the door when I was on my way to class and I was just like, what? Comic book club? I was like, dude. <laughs> and so I pretty much sat down that I was going to do it. So I didn't really know what to expect, but I was like, I, I was taking a business class and I was thinking about starting like my own studio and everything. So I really need to network with other artists. And it was a good way to do that. So. Did you know this Eric guy? Oh yeah. Yeah. Alright. We've been mortal enemies. Yeah, um... <laughs> Since the day that we met. Well, he declared war drawing. because... I didn't declare war. Ruben, Ruben in the figure drawing class, he always praised me for my awesome drawings, right? I mean, I mean, look at this. I mean, and then Eric comes along, you know, and steals just, my thunder. Yep. I, mean, I mean, look at that. Yeah, that's, that's my stuff right there. It was a change okay. of the guard, man. He just, like, um, I came in and just yeah. stole away his And pride. And he was, a, it was his first class. He was year one, sure. semester one, figure drawing. I was, like, in my second one. I was like, who is this guy? Okay, so what do you guys see for the future? So besides your pissing contest. <laughs> yeah, besides that, what do you see for the future? Um, For the club. For the club, I see Bye, us take care. getting in touch with our community and getting our stuff out there. And not just like promoting what we want to promote, but promoting what other groups want to promote. Like doing art for other causes. That's what I want to do anyways. I think that U College has like the tools to do that. And they're going to waste right now. So, Here we got so, to do, you, so this, do you think this is beneficial for artists? For this club? Yes, definitely. And, and, so you get 50% of the profits this piece, right? Yep. Okay, so, so it's open to other artists? Uh, yes. Um, how they, would they get in contact with you? Yeah. Um, Facebook? Um, how would they, they find us on Facebook? Uh, that's, I don't know if there's Artist Initiative? Artist Initiative. Okay. Um, and email is ESP2100. Um, yeah. Find us on Facebook and then what else? Um, on, yeah, find us on, on Facebook at Artist Initiative. And, uh, I also made. You, you can contact us through Artist Initiative on Facebook. And if you want to join the club or if you just want to talk to us, you can get us at ESP2100 ESP at gmail.com. Yeah. It's the best way to get a hold of us. And we're at Butte too. Right? Yeah, we're here at Butte. We're, we always have stuff at the. Or, at the uh, or bookstore. You can just contact David Martinez 
at his personal email. <laughs> if you want to get some straightforward, straight up action. You do that's, realize that's this is going to be on Facebook. Somebody like what? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. So um, there, there might not be so many people with good intentions. <laughs> yeah. So this is a part of the group. We have a few more members that are really um, important members that we want all you guys to come to the art show, be involved. Um, it's really about creating something that hasn't been done, and it's art. Artists for the artists. So um, we're artists, but we want to help out all the other artists. To, you know, a lot of companies make money off the artists, but it's, it's, I think um, artists should be able to make money off their own work and own their own work. So, so yeah, this is the beginning. Hopefully, uh, we'll see you at the art show, 21st Cafe Culture, and we'll make more videos for you guys. Thank you. And they're all students. So great. <laughs> Not personal questions, are they? No. Okay, I'm gonna start. Canon, like, oh my gosh, the face. Okay, so what's your name? Jocelyn. And what kind of art? This is your art piece. Yes. Um, so, what kind of art do you do? Um, I usually do pencil drawings, colored pencil, yeah. and regular pencil. Uh, painting, not so much. But. Okay. Um, and you're also a model. Yes. Okay. And you are you're doing stuff at the fashion show. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, do you make stuff? Yep. Design costumes. Okay. Awesome. So, how do you feel about this group and? And you have pieces in the group, right? Mm, yeah, only a few, but okay. I'm just starting out. Okay, awesome. Um, so, what do you see? How do you see yourself fitting oh, yeah. into uh, participating in, in the club? Um, I think it's an experience. It's always good for the resume. Cause colleges look for that, and so do jobs. You see that you have like a variety of things. So, I think it's always good for that. And then also um, getting experience in the field and just increasing your artwork and getting others' artists' perspective on your artwork to see how you can improve. Okay. Is, that, is that like wrong for me to ask questions? Um, what is like your passion as far as like art goes? Like where do you want to go with it? Um, gosh, I don't know. I, I like trying everything pretty much. Just uh, trying humans right now. Just such a pain. Oh my gosh. It's the worst challenge in the world, but it's. I like drawing humans and trying to do like fantasy type art. That's my most favorite. I like the way you say humans, yeah, that's like what you're I not hear. Well, like, no, I mean, like, they're just I like complicated. I observing the human species. It's not like a creeper. <laughs> my spaceship. It's like, oh my gosh. Nice. Okay, so um, you're going to be an archer then? Yes, I think so. I yeah. don't know. I will, okay, yes, I guess so. And um, Okay, so we'll see you on the 21st. Mm -hmm. Awesome, thank you. Huh? Ruben! Hey, check it out, Ruben. You came out here. My new one. Yes. You came out to yes. see your wares. Yes. I'm sorry, I don't, I don't mean to like... Take a look at my wares. Make you feel uncomfortable. Like <laughs> These are all different <laughs> scenes. <laughs> yeah, no, what? I know. What? Hey, on every girl. Yeah, there, did you go in the bookstore and check it out? Oh my gosh, am I the only girl in this club? No, no. Please no, send no. me in. My no, stuff's in there. David's ex You guys are messing up my yeah, Ruben footage. Yeah. <laughs> and then I have my other ones in this book. Here, pipe down about that one. DL. DL. Is this what you're working on? Mika's right not really yeah. a part of it. Well, she's, she's I haven't worked on it yet. So I got it out to work, work on it. I haven't done it. And that's my favorite candy yeah, store, sure. by the way. I love that. Is this your piece? <laughs> yeah. I really this like is my other one. And I think I've shown you this. Oh, yeah. That's the one. Yeah. I mean, these are my friends, so that Ruben, can I ask you some questions? Um, sure. Okay, so how do you know Eric? Uh, he's one of my super students. Basically, <laughs> yeah. So how do you feel about um, the students actually printing up their work and having it for sale out here? I think that's a great idea. Yeah. And I think a lot of his pieces will. Uh, we probably sell. Nice. Um, as an artist, do you feel um, it's important for artists to be able to sell their work or to be able to, uh, to learn not skills? Not necessarily, but I think it, it's good. I don't really think it's bad or good. Just some people like to sell, some don't. So, but the good thing about it is that you get to spread your work out. Whether you sell it or whether you just show it, you know, it's to, to share it. So that's what I think would be the good thing. I don't really care that much about whether you make money off of it or not. But yeah, but if that's your living, then you know you should sell it. Okay. So how do you feel about David's work? Um, 
Oh, David's a, a great driver. Probably too. around seven. Yeah, David's a fantastic driver. Well, but they're both him and Eric. Really you know, they're super, they're super like, sweet. Yeah, I can't write. Hey, you know, so it's been a pleasure to have them. just like you. See, you're in the tradition. <laughs> you're in the they're in the tradition of Daniel Vera. Nice, nice. Um, so you're coming to our show then? Yeah. Uh, on the when 21st, Saturday, 21st, Cafe Culture. And Chico. Oh, maybe. Are you going to have this? We're going to have big prints. Yeah, big prints for sale too. Oh, really? And live art. I'm making these guys do live art now. So I can come, I can draw you, we can come in, and I'll draw you All that changes in quite detail. Yeah, okay. You got to come hang out. Cafe Culture, the 21st. Yeah, we'll give you a flyer if we have one. You can look at Even if we don't have one here, we'll get you one. We will. And I'll Daniel's in charge. <laughs> I'm, I'm not in charge though, you're in charge. <laughs> oh. Okay, I forgot the, uh, the things here, so I gotta go get them. The what? The sleeves? Aww, you're so pretty. She got like that. <laughs> What's up, buddy? What are you working on? Pokemon. Oh, yeah? Uh, awesome. What are you doing here at the, this cafe? Just sitting, playing my DS. Oh, okay. Is your dad doing stuff here? Yes. What's your, who's your dad? <laughs> Have vinyl, or these cover things for all of the art pieces that are going up on the wall? Or are they able to hang up just as paper up on the wall? Yeah. Hello. Hello. So, can you tell us your name? My name's Kyra Hart. Can you tell us a little bit about what you know about this art show? Well, I heard about it out of Butte College in my painting class, and um, I was told that it's a collaboration of a lot of amazing artists, graphic and painting, drawing, um, maybe more than that. But I uh, wanted to know more about it, maybe be a part of it if it was open to other students, and, uh, and that it's being held at Cafe Culture. So, so, so what kind of artwork do you do? Uh, I started off just drawing when I was young. My mom's a painter, so I experimented a little bit. And then when I started getting into high school, I started using uh, acrylics and watercolors. And now I primarily do oil painting or acrylic with oil over and uh, some ceramics. Okay. Um, how do you like the idea of your stuff being able to get printed and available at the bookstore and stuff? I think it's a great idea. Um, I've always had people, you know, well, in terms of shows, I've had a few shows um, when I was younger, and people wanting to have the same piece, that was more of a personal experience, so that was the first time I ever had the idea of wanting to make prints, and uh, I think it's, it's really great, especially getting the art out there for people who can't necessarily afford 
to buy an original piece. Mm -hmm. um, and just, just getting the idea of getting artwork out into the community and not necessarily from a fine arts point of view or fine arts to the community. So. Thank you. It's complicated. It's like.